Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to update Windows Vista. This is a big job. This video, uh, some of the editing might be choppy because I'm going to chop out the parts where we're waiting for a long time for stuff to happen. Uh, so bear with me. But let's just uh, get right to it. There's two ways to get to the update feature. Uh, well, two easy ways. One is you can start Internet Explorer. And then over here under Tools, it'll have, oops, you can go down to Windows Update. The other way is here in your Start menu, you should have, well, you might have uh, a Windows, an option for Windows Update. It depends on your computer. Sometimes you have to run it from Internet Explorer first, but there's the Windows Update option there, too. And they both work the same. Now, the first time or two you run this, it's going to um, uh, run, it's going to check for updates, and that takes kind of a long time to do. And you can see right here we've got 84 updates already, 84 important ones, six optional ones. You can click to see what they are if you're interested. And let's see. I actually need this link, this Lexmark driver, so we'll do that. So let's just install all of it. All right. Click OK. And you can check the 84 updates. And the first time you do it, then once these are done, you won't have to do them again. So, then I'll go back. And now let's click Install Updates. Click Continue. Oops. I accept. Next. Accept. I don't even know what this stuff is. Then I think we can. Oops. And it should be working. Yep. 89 updates to go. I'm going to pause this video until we get most of them downloaded. So if it seems a little choppy, that's why. Okay, we're back at the um, update video. It's finished downloading, and now it's actually installing the updates. Um, this might jump around a little bit, too. And you don't have to do anything. Windows does this all automatically once the downloads, and they begin to install. After that, you might have to... Um, you might have to uh, reboot the computer, but they'll, you'll know it'll tell you that when you get that far. So for now, we'll just let these install, and um, we'll come back when we get closer to these being done. All right. Now the video's going to jump a little bit, so don't worry about that. Okay, we're back. We're still installing the updates. We're at number 57 of 62. It's taken about uh, just about an hour to do this, which is, like I said earlier, the first time you do this, it's going to take forever. Uh, once your computer is updated, it shouldn't be that much of an ordeal later on. So um, we'll let this finish up, and then we'll see what what the computer says to do. So uh, we'll just sit tight for a second and let her run. Okay, this has appeared. Let's see what this is. Okay, let's install this. Because we can use all this stuff. Let's go ahead and install it. Okay, it looks like the installation is winding down here. At least with this part of it. Uh, let's see. Okay, system so choices. Uh, I'm going to just uncheck all of this stuff. 
you can change it later if you want, but usually this is just a way for Microsoft to get you to do what they want you to do. Um, okay, I'm just going to close this. And we're at 60 of 62 installations. 61 of 62. Almost got it. Okay, restart now to finish installing. Okay, so we have to restart it to make it work. So I'll click restart. And let's see what happens. Okay, Windows has started back up, and it looks like everything was working okay. Um, if you want to, yeah, it did, looks like it did add some stuff here. Um, it's always a good idea once you get the updates done to go back and check again. I'm not going to do that right now, but you should go back and check again because sometimes one update leads to another update, leads to another update, and so on. So you might have to do it two or three times before you get them all done. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps. If you need anything, uh, let me know and I'll see if I can help you out. Thanks.